guys welcome back to angel angela and on this topic i wanted to talk about the jezebel spirit and how the jezebel spirit is not your friend um you know the jezebel spirit is definitely just like the narcissist she is the spirit of confusion confusion because she can imitate the same characteristics as a woman who is empathetic because she keeps empaths in her circle and of course she also keeps um other jezebels around right she picks and chooses everyone and um a lot of times everyone has to submit to her they have to submit to her her parties her engagements her her baby showers her, her you know anything that revolves around her it has to be it has to be about her, right? And I, I speak on this because I really, you know, a lot of women are catty. A lot of women, um, you know, don't respect each other in a way that men do. And men don't respect one another either. There are also men who, who go through battles with other narcissistic men, with men in their circle, with men that they have to work with, right? Um, the influence that that's around them and um people met other men misleading them or using them right um to get supply so with women you know women are cattier overprotective um you know want to dominate right you 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 um also lead you know, you, you follow the narcissist. A lot of us followed the wrong people. We followed a narcissist, someone who um, they weren't going to give anything back, you know, half as much as you, what you gave to them, right? They use you as supply. And that's the same way that the Jezebel uses the people around them. The difference is that the Jezebel is sneakier. She, she gets off you know, on the pain of other women. So a lot of times these are women who are relating to you, who are around you, who um, seem like they understand, you know, your traumas and the things that you go through. And the whole time, right, they're deceiving you because they're they're leaving big parts of their stories out. Meaning that they can sit there and, and they're getting supply from you as a friend because they're they're they might be going through it with a narcissist, right? And they're aware of the narcissist being with someone like you as an empath. So when they're around you and they're watching your pain and they're seeing what you're going through, they're seeing themselves and they understand your pain, but their story is completely different from yours because they're the they're the other woman right they're the jezebel spirit they are the person the type of spirit that is deceiving right that is deceiving you and they're getting feel from you knowing that they're causing that type of pain to someone else so when they're watching you up close and they're seeing what you're going through they start to imitate you. They start to portray that image to that man. And that man sees no difference. They, they, they see emotions and they see your the Jezebel is behaving just like the empath. There's that spirit of confusion. The difference is that that Jezebel knows that what she's doing is morally wrong. It's destructive. She knows she's imposing herself. She knows that she's the perpetrator. But as a friend, right, you're speaking, oh, the narcissist is doing this to me. The narcissist did this to me. She's telling you, let's do this. Let's go and destroy his stuff. Let's, she's putting things in your head, right? Oh, let me say something to him. Right. A lot of times they, they even want to get close to the narcissist that you're with and you have no clue. 
just like the narcissist will look up your friends, will look up your family, will will research and will connect with people that you're connected with. The Jezebel spirit is the same. She will do the same things while you're speaking of the things that you're going through. She feels like she can do it better. She feels like she's stronger. She feels like, oh, you don't know the game that's being played. You don't know that, you know, um, you have to buy the narcissist love and attention right you're not willing they feel like you're not willing to do they feel like you must be doing something wrong right they go around destroying other people's relationships they target good people right and they almost feel like taking the narcissist from you they're doing you a favor right a lot of times they're angry because the narcissist won't leave their primary supply because guess what? Their primary supply really cares, really loves this narcissist, right? They just can't, the narcissist just can't seem to break this person. They can't seem to, uh, they, they, they almost feel like the more they abuse you and see emotions inside of you and see how loyal you are to them, they know there's a difference between you and the Jezebel spirit. They feel like the Jezebel spirit would have found someone else to sleep with. The Jezebel spirit would go and try to make the narcissist jealous because she has something to prove. Oh, you feel like you can use people? You feel like you can exploit that empath that you're with? Look at me. I could exploit different men and do the same things you're doing, but I want to be with you. Right? And she's angry. She's like, why won't the narcissist leave this empath alone? Right? She's literally trying to buy them. Right? She's selling people out. She's selling her friends, people out, people, good men. She's selling people out a lot of times to be with a narcissist. This is why, you know, certain men don't trust certain women, especially when they have kids, because they fi they figured if that man isn't involved, he must be a narcissist. And this is someone you must, you you're probably going back and forth with. And you might be portraying yourself like a victim or someone that wants to move on. But eventually, you'll do the same thing to me that the narcissist is doing to you. So, a lot of times, the Jezebel spirit, she's well aware of your pain. And she connects to you through your pain because you think that that Jezebel spirit, it, it, she understands you. She under, you you're, you're connecting through trauma right she is getting supply from you she feels good about herself because she's glad that she just has a friend around to make her feel better in the meantime she doesn't have to be in her suffering by herself so a lot of Jezebels they like being around women they like being around I have having even a, a, a friend who's a Jezebel spirit just like her to, to actually be able to reveal her true self and identify with that person and, and laugh about destructive behaviors that they're causing onto others and, you know, sleeping around and, and being sneaky or um, they're almost proud of the fact that that man is stepping out on the uh, on the empath. Right. So. That's where the confusion comes from when you're dealing with Jezebel spirits is because the, the, the same thing that the narcissist and, and good men go through where they're around men that they have to work with, they have to make money with, or, you know, um, they have to see the people around them live in a way that they necessarily wouldn't do themselves or even witnessing certain men um do certain things certain narcissist men treat certain people a certain way and um they might be looking at these men and they're they're thinking to themselves you know uh i gotta take notes but at the same time they they realize through those men that sometimes the women in their life who they they thought were devoted to them are actually Jezebel spirits and they start to see that 
they start to see the behaviors in these narcissist men and they start to see the women that they're with and they they're confused because they're like women aren't supposed to be this way right they, they get confused because of jezebel's spirit she's very um masculine in her way of thinking but you start to feel like she's only as a good man she's only doing it to you right she's only doing it to me she's not treating that narcissist man that way right because she she wants to buy that person's attention she she has to work for it where here is this nice guy where she doesn't have to work for for attention and for none of these things it's being given to her right but she has this false self of um presenting herself a certain way where she's a good person but underneath it all it's this person it, 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 they're a monster there there's no empathy they lack empathy they don't care what they're putting you through because they're so invested in that narcissistic person so vice versa with um these type of women they'll exploit their friends and people around them because that's what they see the narcissist does they see that the narcissist exploits people they see that the narcissist lies um they see that a lot of people are drawn to the narcissist's fake persona so she feels like she could do it better she she might even see the narcissist and feel like well the narcissist you know if they were in my shoes, they're they're really jealous of me. They feel like they they get a sense of jealousy from the narcissist because the narcissist feels like if, if I was you, I would be doing this, I would be doing that, I would be getting away with this, right? So they develop the same mindset that the narcissist has. This is why I say the Jezebel spirit, she's not your friend. Cause she's no different from the narcissist, right? They go out, they, they, the narcissist learns from you a lot of times, right? Just, just regular etiquette. So a lot of times when you're dealing with a narcissist, a low, low down narcissist, they're learning etiquette. They're learning the basics from you, right? And then they start getting above themselves and, and they're not going to give you credit. So when they get around certain men and they get certain knowledge, and this is just from what I experienced where I would think to myself, the narcissist, you know, they got a lot of game, a lot of knowledge, but they're not doing none of these things that they speak of. And then they know that they're not doing none of these things that they speak of. So they'll 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 tell you, oh, well, people don't respect what I got to say because I don't got this. I didn't have this. Right. I didn't have the same opportunities. Right. So a part of them takes information from others and then they justify their actions by saying oh i didn't have i didn't have the same opportunities i didn't have the same things and you don't understand right but you understand you get it so you really don't feel intelligent enough and because you feel like you didn't you didn't you don't have the the, the you didn't have the tools for certain success or, or for certain things in life, your way, uh, they're almost telling you the truth, right? But if you want them to take accountability over that, guess what? They're going to be mad. They're going to be angry because they're going to feel like, hey, I don't have no other choice. This is all I got. And that's just going to justify their actions. But it's like they have all this information that they're not doing nothing with it. And then when they do something with it, they get above themselves. They start feeling themselves too much, right? This is this is why a lot of times you're sometimes you're you're looking at the narcissist and they got more respect for other men or other people around them and and um you see that they treat these people differently. So you're like, "Oh, they treat these people differently." A lot of times they treat these people differently because they're imitating them, but they feel like they can imitate them and they they feel like they could do better. They feel like they the same people that they they will look up to, they will secretly resent them or they will secretly put them in positions to destroy themselves. 
so narcissists will have their own friends and the people that they looked up to or the people that they wanted to come around or you invite these people into your family and now they start to hate you you know now they try to sabotage you because they feel like if they had these same things they could have like i said done these th they could have been better right so the jezebel spirit has that she leads right she follows the narcissist she leads by example and if this is someone who didn't have especially if they didn't have a a, a male image around they look up to the narcissist like a bible they think that that's normal behavior right they think everything is transactional and everything is the same way the narcissist puts it yes there's transactions right there's different levels there's transactions and families and things like that but it's not all about that it's not all about that all the time right it's not all about that that's just a way of showing each other uh obedience and love and things like that but because the narcissist doesn't feel those type of emotions they're only looking at the transactional part of it so what i've seen with narcissists is that you know i'm i'm looking like this person isn't living up to what the knowledge that they share a lot of times this knowledge is stuff that they learn on the internet it's stuff that they learn off of other people and they act like this is their that's their life right and you could see that it's not who they are because it, it they wouldn't treat you the way that they you know the image that they present themselves at as and the knowledge that they share does not add up to who they are and how they react and how they treat you and just who they are behind closed doors right so what i've realized with you know the narcissists that i dealt with is like um they were really close to their brother and their brother and him shared a lot of values a lot of knowledge together and you know they were really close but the more i got to know their brother i'm like this person is actually living by by the what he speaks right where the narcissist is trying to tweak the information he's trying to he's trying to get a shortcut to he's trying to use the information but also get a shortcut at the same time right so the Jezebel spirit looks up to the narcissist, right? They think that the narcissist way of living is right. So a lot of times if they're hurt by the narcissist because they were competing, they sold themselves out, they, they started to do the same things the narcissist was doing. They started to go from supply to supply. The Jezebel spirit becomes ran through. She goes through many different men. She knows who she can manipulate, who she can get away with things with, right? And she also feels the hate that comes from the narcissist because the narcissist feels like as a woman, she could get more supply. She doesn't have to work as hard as him, right? The narcissist feels like, oh, you don't got to work as hard as me. You could just lay on your back. That's what I would do. Everything that is not morally right for you as an empath the things that you feel like there's no price to it you're not capable of doing certain things you're that's just not the way you want to live guess what the narcissist feels like you're stupid because that's what they would have done right you'll ever get that feeling like a narcissist has that feminine energy right so the jezebel spirit is attracted to someone who's not even a real man she's not attracted to a real man she's attracted to a narcissist but she uses she uses an empath because she knows she's safe. The narcissist uses the empath because he knows he's safe, but yet he'll sleep around with the Jezebel spirit and the Jezebel spirit is mad. But when she gets around her friends and people who are really going through it, she relates to them through trauma. She tries to relate to them because she's like, oh, we're, we're women, we go through this pain with men, right? But she's not telling you she's the other woman. So when she sees you in pain, she's she's satisfied because she feels like, oh, this is how this is how that other woman is feeling. Right. 
So she's studying you as a woman. And she's like, I got to do the opposite. I got to, I got to, I got to be forgiving. I got to act unbothered. Right? I got to make you look, just like the narcissist tries to make you look crazy. Guess what? The Jezebel stare, she want to make you look crazy too. Because it's going to make her look good. It's going to make you look like you're overly emotional as a woman, even though the narcissist knows deep down it's you really care it's real love there it's real sacrifice there cuz you're dealing with with the rejection you're dealing with the cheating you're dealing with the pain right and they know you're not going nowhere they know you're not going to go and sleep around where vice versa if it was the Jezebel spirit he couldn't trust her he'll know he knows she'll go and and bring someone into her home around her kids she he knows how she maneuvers and that angers them and that keeps them going back because to them it's a challenge to try to make that person submit to them and and, and that person doesn't that Jezebel spare she doesn't budge she's not going for it and when she finally does because she has to buy the narcissist right she has to buy the narcissist. She, the narcissist is like, I'm safe here. You have to buy me. You have to fight for me, right? So the, it, it almost starts to feel like you're fighting for the narcissist's love as an empath while the Jezebel, it's like she feels like she's fighting for the narcissist's love. Now the narcissist, they're, they're confused, but they feel like the Jezebel spirit is stronger than you. Because they feel like she got more fight in her. You're weak. You're vulnerable. So now the same things that they cared about you for the vulnerability, you being able to be, you know, selfless in that situation and really give real love, it becomes disgusting to the narcissist. It becomes weakness to the narcissist, right? So the Jezebel spirit is never your friend because she's laughing, right? She might even try to take she might even try to take your man because she feels like you're weak. She feels like, oh, you know, he needs someone strong. You're not strong enough for this person. So you're if you got a Jezebel spirit around you, guess what? She, she's not your friend. Guess what? She's family. It doesn't matter if she's family. Guess what? You'll see that you'll speak about your what the, the abuse you go through with narcissists, and then you'll see that the women in your fa your in your life, your family, your friends, you'll see that when the narcissist comes around, they're looking at the narcissist based off of their looks, and they're and they're bowing down to them. They're being overly friendly. You start to see them, and it's almost like they're flirting with the narcissist, and you're like. You're not expecting them to be mean to the narcissist, right? You because you're you, you feel like if they care about you, they're gonna respect your choices, whether it's right or wrong. But you'll see that they'll be overly nice where it's not normal, right? Or if you're dealing with um, or or if you're dealing with a narcissist, you'll see that um, certain men. Certain men who, who are narcissists will befriend the narcissist. They're, they're almost on the narcissist side, right? Instead of protecting you as a woman, and this is your own flesh and blood, right? It's like they see the narcissist viewpoint and, you know, they're looking at your flaws, but they don't see the good parts of you, right? Um, so... The Jezebel spirit, she uses her friendships as supply, whether it's another Jezebel spirit or whether it's a whole bunch of empaths. And you'll see that anytime there's someone who they feel like is competition, you'll see the demon come out of her, right? You bring someone into the group, she gets angry. There's this, it's like you have to go through her, right? Um... And a lot of times this will show you the type of people you're dealing with because you could have a friend who you think this person's your friend and she's the Jezebel spirit and now she brings another Jezebel spirit around 
and now they're both tag teaming you for no reason now your friend is acting different she's showing she's revealing who she really is she was never really your friend and now she's showing it she's choosing she's picking sides and you don't even know this other person right these people are they're trying to leave you stranded or they're trying to exploit you or they're trying to force you to buy things they're acting like um you're disposable you know they're playing themselves out of good people but they'll act like it's you there's something about you that's disposable they feel like your kindness is weakness just like the narcissist right the jezebel spirit is not your friend She's around you. She she studies you just like the narcissist studies you. She sees your emotions. She uses these things against you. She tells you half stories. She gets feel from every time you share things with her. Every time you share information that you know about narcissism or the things that you go through. She's, she's just keeping all this in her brain. A lot of times... Um, if the Jezebel spirit... If she's not capable of using other men or she's married or she's not able to use other people other the opposite sex the way she's used to or she's just now older and has children or grandkids she'll use other women she'll go to church she'll go to places she'll go into groups she'll put on an image and that's all it is it's an image it's not really who she is right this is why you don't go around thinking, you, you don't go around assuming things about people based off of what they look. This is why a lot of women will, will sex traffic other women and do certain things and move in a way where it's masculine. Because that's a, it has nothing to do with helping you or being there for you or being your friend. It's all about being devoted to that narcissist or feeling as if they're a victim themselves of narcissism and this is why even narcissists they will tell you their traumas and they'll try to act like that's an excuse to what they've done to other people so in that case a lot of these women will act like oh well that you know i went through trauma and i went through my own things and this is why i was selling other people out right because they're consumed they're not taking accountability they're so consumed with themselves they don't even see the part that they they don't even think that the role they played was that detrimental to your safety, to your health, to your survival. That's how narcissists act like it, it, it wasn't a big deal. Or because they were put in those circumstances, it's not a big deal to put you through those circumstances. This is why the Jezebel spirit isn't your friend because she will, she will make up a whole master plan and she'll make you take the fall and leave you hanging and, and, and take off. And, and later on say, oh, I thought you were going to take off too. You're not the same. You're different. She knew you were different, but she she knew you were going to be the person who, who's going to take the fall. So being around the Jezebel spirit is very dangerous because she will bring you down to her world just like the narcissist and have you doing things that you you never thought you would do and now you're living in another reality that's not even yours that's their reality and they brought you into that reality and then they sold sold you out because guess what now they're not your friend now they're not with you now they're not in a relationship with you you were just supplying so the the jezebel spirit is just as dangerous as the narcissist if not sometimes even more dangerous because when you can't turn to nobody and you get to the point where you don't trust men, right? You're like, oh, I, I was trusting. I was too naive. You'll run to other women, not knowing that some of these women love to see the pain that you're going through because they're suffering themselves, right? Or they, they act like they're suffering. They give off the illusion that they're suffering because that's the normal thing to do. It's like the normal thing is... If your husband's stepping out on you, you're probably not feeling good about it, right? But the Jezebel spirit, she's not telling you that she's doing things behind this person's back. And I'm telling you from experience because 
I had a family, you know, even family, right? You might think, oh, I, I'm cutting all my friends off. So you're you're sharing things with your elders or the people around you or people that you, you're close to in your family thinking you know them and you don't really know these people like that. You know, I'm thinking this family member, right? We went through some of the same things. We were affected by some of the same narcissists. You know, they're telling me about their narcissist husband and things like that, right? Victimizing themselves and and I get it, right? Sometimes as women, there's so much you could take. You've been married for a long time. You got children and eventually you get sick of it. You might step out. You might step out because you're not, you're getting nothing but abuse all the time. So you might step out. I get it. Right? You, but you, you're still devoted to that person. Just like, you know, certain men. You got a woman that's just playing you and, and then you, you, you're like, I'm going to step out. But then when you step out, you really not stepping out because the person you went on a date with, you really didn't even want to go with that person. You're not attracted to that person. You don't love that person. You only want, you only want to see them again. Right. But now the Jezebel spirit is like, see, I got you. She's fooling you. I got you. So I've been in scenarios where. I'm genuinely there for someone. They're, they're, oh, you know, but they're not telling me everything. They're not telling me, oh, I went on a date with, I went on, I stepped out on my husband. They're not telling me that part. They're not telling me, oh, yeah, you know, they're not being honest with themselves, right? So they're, instead of telling you, you know, okay, my husband's been cheating on me this whole time, so I finally stepped out on them. They'll keep it a secret, right? Oh, my husband's been abusing me more because they feel like they're a narcissist. They can step out on me, but the moment I did it, now I'm getting all this abuse, right? Now it's the relationship's getting more abusive, right? That's understandable, but these people won't tell you everything, right? Because that, narciss that narcissist energy has rubbed off on them. So guess what? Now, as much as that woman seems like she's she she's victimizing herself, right? Now she's putting you in a in a fucked up situation because this person that I dealt with, right? I'm thinking, oh, they're an empath, they're just like me, and but now they're not telling me the whole story of why their husband is like driving, chasing us to the store. We go to the store, we go to the grocery store, right? Me and my aunt, I'm going to just put it like that. Me and my aunt, she don't know I'm on here. Me and my aunt, we go to the store um, to get some groceries or whatever because we're going to cook. And we pull up to the, to, the, to the parking spot, literally right in front of the store. And I just hear a car burn rubber to hit the corner to go in front of the, the grocery store. I'm thinking like, who the hell is driving that fast in the parking lot, right? So I automatically turn to the left. She's in La La Land, right? She's in La La Land taking her keys out. She's not paying attention. So I'm in my head like she not paying attention. I'm looking like, who the hell is that? They pull up right in the front, right next to the car. Cause like I said, we we're parked right on the first spot, right in front of the store. And he looks over and puts the window down. And I'm looking like, is that my uncle? Is that your husband, right? And she, she's like acting like naive and she's like, she's like, why did you follow us to the store? What's wrong with you? Did you want some ice cream? You could have just called me. You could have just called me. And in my head, I'm thinking like, why the f would he come to the store? And if he does want something, why didn't he call her? And is her phone off? And even if that's the case... I'm not going to pull up to the damn store chasing after nobody to tell them I want something from the grocery store. I'm going to just go to the store and get it myself if that's the case, right? It just didn't make sense. So in my head, I'm thinking like, why is she talking like that? Like, why is she acting so naive? Oh, if you wanted something, you could have just called me. I'm like, I'm thinking like your husband is crazy, right? And that's the thing. That's the thing about people is like, 
you don't know the whole story. That's why you got to be careful with the Jezebel spirit because you don't know the whole story of why that man is acting that way. So in my head, I'm like, he's acting crazy, just like the narcissist that I was with. The only difference is the narcissist was stepping out on me. That's why he was extra paranoid, right? So in my head, I'm like, oh, he must be paranoid because narcissists know when you start acting different. So he must feel like you're acting different. And I'm not saying she's, I'm not saying, I'm not going to point fingers at who's wrong or, or say that she wasn't wrong or whatever the case is. This is where she was, where shit went left for me. I'm thinking it's weird. Then when we grab stuff and we go back to the house, he's in his room chilling, right? Watching TV. And she runs up in the room, opens the door and she's like, don't you ever embarrass me in front of my niece like that again. And I'm like, what in the hell is going on? Right? Because you don't really know what goes on in people's homes and people's lives. Everything is a facade. You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't judging the situation because I've been through narcissist abuse. I know how crazy it can get. But she gets out the room and she she starts making it like a scene right so while she's cooking she's like i don't understand why he followed us to the store he's embarrassing me in front of you why would he even do that and all this and that right so later on she finally admits to me that she had been on facebook talking to someone and he caught her online talking to someone, even though it wasn't serious. She, I guess, you know, you're married for so long. Your husband's stepping out on you. He, he's he gone every single weekend. You don't know what that man doing. He's not taking the kids with him. And, and now your kids are grown and he's still doing the same thing. So I get it, right? Because th there's this facade, right? There's this facade, but things aren't, marriage is not the way you thought it would be, right? So I'm not judging her circumstances, but what I will say is when people are around a narcissist for a long time, you gotta be careful because these people will start behaving like the Jezebel spirit, which is they'll become very manipulative, just like the narcissist. They get all these these manipulating tactics from their family their friends a lot of times the same people they're talking to you about and and people that targeted you at once upon a time they were on those people's sides they didn't care about knowing your side of the story until it happened to you until it happened to them i mean so you know she she um i'm thinking this whole thing is weird eventually she tells me okay i got caught whatever and, you know, and she's basically blames me. She goes, it's your fault because you made me a Facebook. She's like, you're the one who made me a Facebook. I'm like, first of all, when I made your Facebook, I told you that I'm not even on Facebook. I told you, I'm like, I can make it for you, but I'm not on Facebook. And she's like, I heard you can look up people, you know, family, friends. You can. I'm like, yeah, you can look up people or people can type your name and they can find you. But it's a lot of weirdos on there. It's a lot of strangers. I warned her about all these things I'm, while I'm making it. But she's not dumb. She's just pretending to be dumb right so that's when i started realize she pretends to be dumb a lot and you know i could tell that she doesn't put herself in other people's shoes because she she her struggles she feels like her struggles have been more than others yet she's living a life that others probably wish they had right but that's what I'm saying. People are never satisfied with what they have. So you have to pay attention to women and men who they're just never satisfied. They're just they feel like their happiness. It's like their happiness does not come from within. They're pretending like it does. Right. Um, but she basically says, oh, you're the one who made my Facebook. And I'm like, what does that have to do with me? Like, oh, you know. Maybe he thinks we're doing something and I'm like, that's weird, right? 
I at that point I didn't know who to blame. I'm like, narcissists do get crazy and try to make the victim look like a narcissist, but why would he even bring why would why would my name even be brought up into this shit to begin with? The only I don't even talk to that man, so it had to be you. You had to have said something to him for him to identify you talking to strangers with me. You had to have said something. I don't talk to him. We we don't talk to each other. That's your husband. That's my uncle. But we're not. I'm not close to him. He He's not friendly when I come over. He's not friendly to nobody, really. Um, so you had to have said something. For him to pull up on us like that why would he assume that you're gonna go out and do something with your knees like you're like we're he was acting like we were some hot tamales some hot mamas gonna go get us some men or something he was acting so strange sometimes narcissists do stuff that is not normal so i'm like okay well i could see how he could just be doing crazy stuff just to be just to do crazy things because sometimes when narcissists do stuff you know they just they just react they just do stuff that just does not make sense right but i also felt like why wasn't he embarrassed why why did he the look on his face when he pulled up he said he started shaking he didn't even say nothing he was just shaking his head like no like he looked me in my eyes and said no like shook his head and drove off and i'm like this dude weird right that was the first time i ever seen him act so weird because he don't even talk much but when she said to me oh you know you're the one who made my facebook that's what a lot of jezebels do so they'll blame you for their actions so if they're cheating on their man or if um or if they get pregnant or something, they'll be like, you're the one I was with when I went to a party and I got pregnant from that dude. And if I wouldn't have been hanging out with you, they act like you're the bad friend, but you didn't tell them to do that. And a lot of times you only went to these places because they wanted to go. You didn't really care about going out to this party, but now they'll they'll put the blame on you like if you were that narcissistic friend like oh if i wouldn't have been hanging out with you i would never met this person got pregnant they'll put the blame on you like you're the jezebel spirit so the jezebel spirit she's the spirit of confusion she will cry she will blame things on other people and this is the difference this is where i feel like there's that's what happens when narcissists even get married with each other because I wouldn't put the, if I get caught doing something, I'm not going to sit here and put the blame on my friend, right? That's what the Jezebel will do. She'll put the blame on someone else knowing she did these things herself or to make herself look more innocent, right? Like a lot of times the empath will hang around. Maybe you're in a toxic relationship. You go out and hang out with the Jezebel spirit and now the narcissist is like, you're acting unusual. You don't act like this. And you realize you don't act like that. So you tell the narcissist, oh, you know, I was hanging out with this friend, da, 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 da. And the narcissist is like, she, he knows that she's a Jezebel. So he's telling you, why are you even around this Jezebel spirit? Because she's not really your friend, right? So the Jezebel is the spirit of confusion because she will do the same things that the empath sometimes the empath will be influenced and you'll do things that is out of your character right but you won't sacrifice other people the way the jezebel spirit will sacrifice you and then on top of that um if you feel like you had to do or say something to protect yourself the least you would do as an empath is be honest with your friend and be like come clean to your friend about the circumstances the jezebel spirit won't do that she'll act oblivious if not she'll get mad because you didn't lie for her on spot like she'll feel like you should have been smart enough to lie so if she so she might feel like oh if you if if her partner is looking for her and she said she told her partner she's going to be with you 
but she didn't even tell you she was going to be with you. And now this person's like, oh, you know, are they over there? And you're like, no, they're not over here. You're not thinking nothing of it because the Jezebel didn't even, you, you didn't even have a clue of what she was doing. You think she's just a victim. So you're like, oh, no, she's not over here. And now guess what? The Jezebel spirit is mad at you because she felt like you should have been on, on cue. You should have known to lie when you didn't even think that that was in her character to do so. So it's different when you know someone, right? When men know that their friends are liars or cheaters on cue, they're ready to lie. They're ready to lie because they already know they already know what to expect. The difference is that the je this is why why relationships between men and women are different too because the Jezebel spirit is sneakier. She won't even tell her own friends certain things, right? Where the narcissist, they'll just yap away and tell everyone what's going on, right? So there, even though no one is really friends, there's more of a brotherhood where with the Jezebel, she's not keeping you updated. She's not telling you the truth because a lot of times she knows you're an empath. So this is why she, she will only tell the truth to a Jezebel spirit. So if you're a good person and you're around someone just because you you feel like, oh, your friend, you look up to your friend in some type of way because you feel like your friend is pretty. She gets attention. You like being around her. You like you like being around someone who who you might feel like thinks like you or, or you know, they, they look good being around you. Guess what? That's not your friend. You're around someone based off of how they look. And that person knows you're around them based off of how they look. And even if you weren't, they feel like they're not even they're not even a good friend to you. So they might feel like, well, you're just you're getting something out of being around me. And that's all you're going to get. So to them, they they almost feel like they they have the right to exploit you because they feel like you're not even aware you know so a lot of these Jezebel spirits they know what you go through they feed off of you they feed off of your pain um they only encourage you because they want you to encourage them um and a lot of times like I said they do things that you know go against what you what you believe in but they won't tell you these things or they'll they'll sell you out to others or they'll want to steal your life or your light or they want to be around you just to 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 study you to take opportunities from you to fuel them to make them feel like if you're capable of accomplishing these things then because I'm the Jezebel spirit or because they feel like they're more attractive or more more uh cunning than you then they feel like they can do whatever you do but they could do it better so this is why the Jezebel spirit, she competes with the women that she's around. Um, a lot of times she's competing with the narcissist because she 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 wants to prove to the narcissist that she could do what the narcissist does, but better. But the narcissist also knows that she's playing herself. Because the narcissist a lot of times won't leave their grade A supply for the Jezebel spirit. So they almost view it as you're selling yourself short. You're selling yourself for for minor things. You're selling people out for minor things. And and the Jezebel's like I, there's no difference between me and you. You're it, they're competing with one another, right? The, the 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 narcissist feels like they could play the game longer than the Jezebel spirit. They're like, oh, you're not always going to look like that, right? You're playing yourself, right? Or if they see the Jezebel spirit find some a, a grade A supply, guess what? They're trying to they're trying to ruin that for the Jezebel spirit. They're still competing with them. And, and guess what? They'll go back to the grade A supply because they feel like, guess what? That man, he's not going to look at you the same. This woman is emotional and she's going to keep forgiving me. And that man, eventually, he's going to get fed up with you. He's going to feel like you're not being intimate with him. You don't really like him like that. And eventually, he's going to leave for good. And he's going to know the difference between a good person and someone who has the Jezebel spirit, right? The Jezebel spirit always feels like she could come around. 
she could take uh she starts to she starts to compete with the empath with the empathetic man if she feels like that that man wants to move on and find someone to be happy with she wants to mess that up she wants to keep coming around just to prove a point that she could take that man away from whoever he's trying to to move on from just like the the narcissist does they come around the empath right when you're trying to move on or if you find someone new and they want to mess it up just to just to disappear again right it's like a game right so when you're dealing with the jezebel spirit it's nothing but a game just like with the narcissist but the jezebel spirit feels like she could play it better than the narcissist so she becomes very masculine in her way of thinking where she thinks that that's cool she thinks that that's okay right um and she doesn't see the difference between she feels like anyone who who she 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 feels like there's no difference between the narcissist and her right she feels like society is a problem she feels like everyone who's a good person is a fool she starts having that same um mentality and that's why she she usually attracts the narcissist that's who she attracts the narcissist is usually attracted to the jezebel spirit but they keep each other safe by using good people you know so the narcissist you know they're filled with that spirit of confusion stuck between two worlds of who they want to be and who they really are the Jezebel spirit is just the same. And this is why they usually attract each other. But they know they know things won't last. So they get with someone opposite from them to get energy, to get fuel. You know, so the Jezebel spirit is not someone that you could trust, that you could be friends with. Um, if you get around these people because of their status, the way they look, because of they got a lot of followers, they got a lot of people who want to get close to them. I'm telling you now, you're just going to be used and exploited because in their mind, they're the prize and you're just another character, right? Um, so the, they'll start exposing themselves. They'll start exposing themselves when they bring friends around, like I said. Or you'll do nice things for them and you'll think you, you'll you'll do nice things for the Jezebel spirit. And you see that they don't really appreciate it. They don't really appreciate it. They look at you like you're a man, like you're a man that, you know, how they exploit men that they use. That's how they view other women when women are being nice to them. Like you're some type of trick or something like they just got one over on you, you know. So you got low grade narcissists. You got you got uh narcissists uh jezebel spirits who who have their nose in the air and and they don't want to put themselves in your shoes they don't even understand your struggles they oh let's go out to eat you know they start ordering a whole bunch of shit you order just what you're gonna eat they're they're planning on taking food to go to to give the narcissist man that they're with they're trying to use you they're trying to exploit you Oh, we're supposed to split the check. You know, that's the right thing to do. And you're looking at your plate like, I only bought this. Right? You're like, I only bought this. They're trying to act like they got more class than you. They, they don't put themselves in your shoes. You know, they're trying to live a life that they don't even live. Just like the narcissist man does. Right? They're sitting here trying trying to convince you, oh, it, it, you know, women stick together. You know, women look out for one another. They're trying to convince you all these things, but they're really trying to exploit you. They're really trying to get more out of you. They're really trying to use you as someone to counsel them and to be there for them for therapy, just like the narcissist. You're just not, it's just supply. It's just being a therapist to these people being there for them even when they they're giving you half stories involving you in all of their bad luck and their bad karma that they always got coming for them right um so these people attract one another and when you're not aware of it you're trying so hard to fit in or to, to 
be around people and you don't even realize um, you're always going to lose in that game with these type of people, you know, um, because they do attract one another. And that's what I realized when I left the narcissist relationship, when I started hanging around a friend from my past and when I met up with her for the first time in a couple years my mind said to me she's she knows the guy that you were just dating i was dating a guy who he seemed perfect life he, he had his own everything just like me so i felt like we were more on the same level i thought you know you, you you're sitting here trying to manifest something and you manifest a demon because there's something not right you're seeing the red flags in a way that you didn't see them with the narcissist even though they seem perfect, your intuition, something's telling you is something's wrong here. And and when I had that intuition that something was wrong, I just cut that person off and they, they didn't know why I cut them off. I just had a bad intuition, even though they were being nice, there's something off about you. You want to, you know, after a couple of dates, now you feel like entitled to me in some type of way. That's scary, right? like ownership like they're buying you i don't like that feeling and um when i met up with that friend my intuition said ask her if she knows him and i said to myself why would i ask her that she's gonna think i'm crazy and my intuition said just ask her you have nothing to lose so i asked her and she said she knew him and she thought i was trying to set her up she like did he send you over here I'm like, don't even call him. He don't even know I'm here. Just my intuition told me. But she didn't believe my intuition was that strong. So she still contacted him. And um, that's when I realized my intuition was telling me to stop talking to him because narcissists attract one another. It's just that we as empaths don't know our own power. So anytime the narcissist or the Jezebel spirit are around you, is because you're unaware of your own power. Once you're aware of your own power, these people don't want to be around you. Because even if you dumb yourself down to be around them, they could tell you're dumbing yourself down. They know you're not like them. They know you're you're they could just sense that you're not like they could see it in your eyes that you're wide awake. So the Jezebel spirit is not your friend. The narcissist is not your friend. These these people are no one's friends. They, they aren't friends with no one. They're just walking computers who steal information, steal knowledge from others. They understand right from wrong, but they keep doing wrong. They keep hurting people. They don't care about other people. They only care about themselves. This is why anytime they get exposed, they want to start talking about their fucking childhood and what they went through like as if other people haven't been through the same things and still don't behave the way they behave or do or hurt others to the point to the to to a point where it's very diabolical to the point where it just does not make no sense you know it does not make sense to hurt someone that badly and to still stick around them spitting at their face and laughing at them right it's like a little it's like a kid it's like a, a a bully it's like someone who their mind isn't completely developed but they're trying to prove to you that that it is they're trying to prove to you oh these are conscience choices that i'm making so it's showing you the level of maturity and at the same time they're they're trying to tell you what does maturity mean maturity doesn't mean anything these things nothing means anything it's like they feel like nothing matters they feel like they are nothing but darkness they're like oh nothing matters i just use information to manipulate people but nothing matters right no one matters just how i feel matters right so the jezebel spirit she's not your friend and you'll see it you'll see it you know i had a friend one time where we were going to go out and get some like to go food you know before we parted ways and she's telling me what she wants she i'm like what are you going to order she starts telling me what she wants so i'm like putting everything on my cart and i'm thinking in my head like she's been a good friend i'm just going to pay for our for our lunch or whatever right because as an empath you will feel like you owe 
people's stuff because they were there for you through hard times where they already have that perception in their mind that if they're there for you, eventually you're going to, they already know that. That's the thing about the Jezebel spirit is that she likes people that, are, that go through shit and she tries to relate to you because a lot of times she has went through a lot of the similar things that you went through, but she knows that you're different, right? Because she'll go out and sleep with other men and she doesn't, to her, it's like, um, she doesn't feel like she can get soul tied to other people. She feels like all that shit is fictitious, right? It's not real. Um, and at the same time, she's also upset because things didn't go the way she thought they would go. So now you would think that this person would understand you. But they, and, and because she, she might have knowledge, you might look up to her, but that same knowledge that she has, she will try to use it against you just like the narcissist did. That's why the Jezebel spirit, you'll see that, you know, she has the narcissist spirit. You'll see the narcissist, they have the Jezebel spirit, you know, they're, they're holding on to hate from things that happened to them or relationships that didn't go the way they wanted to. So now they're putting that stuff on you. So they know, hey, you're going to see me as a, a good friend, as a savior. They already know these things. That's why they let you stick around them because they don't like being alone anyway. So they feel like they're getting something out of it. You're getting something out of it. And they're just going to get more out of it eventually. So that's when I realized there and then, like, you got to be careful um, sharing things with people right so while we're ordering you know she was going to order her own stuff right she was going to order on her phone and i was going to order on my phone and we were looking at the menus so once she told me what she wanted i just went ahead and paid for it and i was like i already paid for it like we good let's go and um she go she gets mad she gets angry and she's like She's like, you already paid for it? She's like, you should have waited. She like snapped though, like like very snobby. And she goes, you should have waited because I was going to order something for this guy that I'm talking to. Because um, I'm, I'm going to go to his house after I, we go get food. I'm going to go to his house or whatever. And I'm like, well, order it. Like, not a big deal she's like you should have told me and then i would have and then i would have just paid you back or whatever and in my head i'm thinking like bitch you know like it's not a big deal like order what you have to order and like when we get there obviously my food's gonna be done before yours because i paid for it but you should be i i literally told her i said girl you should be saying thank you that i paid for your food i said who cares order his food and pay for it and now you don't have to give me the money for his food like pay for it with your own money you should be, say thank you for paying for my food so i told her straight up because i ain't like that and after that i never looked at her the same because once someone gives me a red flag like that Especially the opposite, the same sex. If a woman, another woman comes at me like that, I already know you're just not, you're not the type of person I want to be around, period. Because I could treat you that same way. I could treat, I could treat, I've been in positions where women, they're giving me gifts or doing things because they feel like I'm a good friend. But the difference is that when I get stuff from women or from people that care about me and they care about my wisdom i actually appreciate these things right where the jezebel spirit she don't really appreciate these things she almost starts to feel like she deserves it she's worthy that type of attitude make me not want to give you shit so that type of attitude is what turns the narcissist off this is why a lot of times the jezebel spirit is mad because the narcissist won't leave their main source of supply but it's little behaviors like that that will make the narcissist feel like they're safe where they're at because that per because they know you will actually appreciate it and the narcissist likes being in control they like 
you know, they they want to withhold and breadcrumb you and they want you to be happy about the breadcrumb. So that type of attitude is what the narcissist won't want to be around. To, that's why the Jezebel spirit has to buy the narcissist. And this is why the, the Jezebel spirit will be even more cunning than the narcissist. And this is why a lot of women don't are catty because you don't know who to trust as a woman where men will they 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 can see through one another right in a way that women can't because you'll be too nice to these type of women and don't even know um don't even know that this is really who they are you're overlooking all that shit you're overlooking stuff like that where the empath anything that is given to you especially when you go through narcissist abuse when someone gives you money when someone you know um when someone gives you word, words of, of just being grateful for your advice or um, when people support what you do. All these things are really meaningful for the empath. These are things that will bring tears to your eyes because you've been breadcrumbed a lot. Where the Jezebel spirit, she's like, she's used to it or she feels like if you don't give me these things, I'm going to steal them. I'm going to take them, right? It's very different. So this is why... Um, the, the Jezebel spirit is not your friend. The, the narcissist isn't your friend either. It's just a lot of times you'll see those behaviors and you'll be drawn away from the Jezebel spirit quicker than the narcissist because the narcissist is, is int they're intimate with you. That's the only difference between the Jezebel spirit and the narcissist is that you'll you'll be intimate with the narcissist and that's what will keep you fucking blind. And that's why people will be like, oh, it was that good. You're you're digmatized because they're playing that same game. The Jezebel is playing. They're no different from the Jezebel spirit. It's just the Jezebel spirit feels like she could play it better. And a lot of times, sometimes the Jezebel spirit knows that she can play the game better than you you know she knows she can't play the game so so she'll say oh i don't like having female friends she don't even want to have female friends because she already know i'm going to play them i'm going to step over them they're she already feel she feels like oh everyone's jealous of me oh i'm they're beneath me um you know so she'll be more particular about who she's around and anyone that she is around that she feels is on her level they got their own agenda. You know what I'm saying? So the Jezebel spirit is not your friend. And and as they get get older, you know, you got to be very careful because this person can look like your aunt. This person can look like your mom. This person can look like your grandma. And this person might not be able to manipulate men the way she used to. But now she's going to use the women to manipulate just like the narcissist, they get older, they might not be able to use women the way they used to. So now they're going to use the men in their family and then the men in their family ain't going for it. So they're mad at the women and they get stuck with someone that they don't really want. But they're using and exploiting that person. And that's why they got this deep hate towards women because they feel like, look at her. She's over there going to church and acting like she's holy. But you know what I'm saying? Um, she's playing a game, you know, so a lot of women get enabled. A lot of Jezebels get, they got enablers and that's why the narcissists, when they come across empaths and stuff like that, they think you got the same drive that the Jezebel has and they'll break you down completely. And they get almost a satisfaction from breaking you down because it almost feels like they're using you as a punching bag to get back at Jezebel spirits and people just you know just like the vice versa right the 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 Jezebel spirit uses good men because it's to them it's like they're getting back at narcissists in their life right so this is why the narcissist has no respect for the empath because they see certain characteristics that the just certain tactics that the Jezebel uses to exploit crying and doing things like that. So when you're crying as an empath, they're looking at you like, don't cry. Like that shit doesn't move me. That shit does. You can't use that on me. 
they it's like they, they got the spirit of confusion so when you're dealing with narcissists men and women they got the spirit of confusion they are not your friend when you see people with the spirit of confusion they're preaching things but they're living a different way or you see that they don't really value the friendship or they don't value the things you do for them or they don't see that every time you your friend calls you you're always there to listen to them but you you never put burdens on them you never call them you never put burdens on them because you know they that even if you were to talk about what you're going through you know you could feel that they don't really give a damn so you don't even come at them like that but you see they're always coming to you and you might think oh they're a victim you know of narcissist abuse and you might always be there for them Right, because you know that sometimes when you're going through narcissist abuse, you could be consumed with yourself because you forget who you are. You've been controlled by someone. So you give certain people the benefit of the doubt, especially women. You feel more trusting with them to give them the benefit of the doubt. So every time they come in and out of your life, you're like, oh, that's my home girl. I don't really talk to her. But every time they come to you, they come with the same problems. You don't judge them because of it until finally you start to pick up red flags so you'll you'll give them good advice and you see that the good advice you give give them they hate right or you get around their family and friends that they've been talking bad about and their family and friends are being nice to you and you're like nah that she gotta be lying because usually narcissists and their narcissistic families they're all gonna be mean to you right Narcissists don't even like pretending to be nice to your friends, right? Or sometimes people are good people and the narcissist portrayed them as being bad. And then when you meet them, they're mean to you. So you think they're mean people, but they're only being mean because they assume that the narcissist gets their behavior from you or something, right? So you know that there's always two sides of the story. So a lot of times certain things will be revealed to you or certain times like, you know, I had a friend when I was younger who her mother didn't like me and I didn't know why she didn't like me. And then I and then one day, you know, she ends up telling me, oh, she thinks that you stole a watch when you came over here. And I'm like, I don't be stealing, especially from people, friends and family. Like, I'm not I'm not a thief. You know, so I'm thinking in my head, well, you're sneaking your boyfriend over. It was your boyfriend, but because you don't want to tell your parent it could have been your boyfriend, you rather put the blame on me so your boyfriend could keep coming over. But it had to be your boyfriend because it's definitely not me. It had to be him. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times the Jezebel, she knows what she's doing is wrong. But she doesn't care because she only cares about getting supply. And even if it if it's being with a narcissist, even if it's selling out her friends and family. So when the empath sells, when you start as an empath, when you sell your friends and family out, the narcissist views you as no different from the Jezebel. And a lot of times you don't sell your family and friends the same way the Jezebel. You don't make up lies about people the way the Jezebel does. But it's not having self-respect and boundaries. So that's what that's what will make the narcissist feel like they could exploit you when you don't have boundaries. And a lot of times you have boundaries, but the narcissist has broken you down. It's like the narcissist almost don't know. Do you want a good girl? Or you want a bad girl? So you you even start to change because you want to meet this person's needs. But one thing about the narcissist is you can't satisfy them and you can't bow down to them. You can't sit there. It, it, they'll use love intimacy to control you and then they get mad at you for for being controlled you know by giving them they they want to act like the man they want they want to be the leaders they want to be they want to lead but if you start letting them lead they won't respect you for letting them lead so this is someone who is has a false image of what a man is supposed to be this is someone who has a false image of what a woman is supposed to be it's is toxic you know these are people consumed with themselves there's no logic 
There's no real true logic with these people. And you don't realize this until you're out the picture. And then you, you start to see the BS for what it is. And now these people are afraid of you. They don't want to be around you. Or the Jezebel spirit wants to be around you because she knows you're different from her. She wants to know why people are drawn to you. She wants to know how you're able to think like her, but not move like her. She wants to steal. She wants to take notes from you. She wants to she wants to take notes from you. If you let the Jezebel spirit in, she's going to start to feel like she she's going to start to feel like what you have doesn't mean anything. What you work hard for don't mean nothing. Like what you're doing doesn't make sense. Like, oh, you're the way you you work hard for shit and things like that. She's not going to respect none of it. Um, you know, or she she might look she might look at you like you're beneath her. Right. She has more than you. She's aware of that. So now she's trying to make sure that you never you're never in a position to be okay or she she's trying to make sure that she she leaves you feeling low she she wants to make sure that she's she's uh orchestrating events and doing things to make you waste your money right she she feels like it's kind of like you it's kind of like uh a lot of these Jezebel spirits especially when they're single mothers and things like that and you're say you're a single woman and you don't have kids and you're doing things the right way because you don't want to bring life into this world. You're doing things the right way. She'll look down on you like like you're doing things the wrong way. Or she'll look down on you thinking, oh, nobody wants you when she don't even got nobody. And you've had, she'll act like you've never had a serious relationship because she has children with a narcissist. So it's a, her, her relationship is more serious than the relationships you've been she's trying to compare herself right where in her relationship she had a narcissist probably knocked her up didn't want to be around her or the baby and he you you probably went through the same things but you you got love bombed more than her because there were no real responsibilities when they were with you you had more time to do things together and go places so you might feel like you were in more of a real relationship than she was, but she's trying to give you advice. She wants to look down on you. She wants to compete with you. You got to pay your own bills. You got to you got to look out for yourself. And she's sitting here gossiping about you to other people at the job place so that she can get more hours or so that you can get fired or so that her life is supposed to be more important. Everything is supposed to revolve around her. And she feels like if you get fired, if I get you fired, you could just go look for another job. You don't have kids. You don't have responsibilities the way I do. She compares herself. And sometimes you're the one that's actually paying bills and living out alone. And she's still living with her parents with a fucking kid. You know what I'm saying? So are getting, you know, government assistance. So these Jezebel spirits, they're everywhere. They're in the workforce. They're all over the place. And their whole mission is to bring other people, uh, other women down. They don't respect you. They don't respect your relationships. They don't respect your marriages. They're miserable. They've been ran through. Um, they don't have common sense. They're pretty, but they're crazy. They're pretty, but they're something psychologically wrong. They stop growing at a certain age. Um... They're thieves. They don't respect people. They don't respect their family. They don't respect people that have been there. They put their hands on people. They're, um, they tell half truths. They make up lies. They gossip. Um, just toxic. Just toxic people. Toxic fake victims. That's what they are. So the Jezebel spirit is not your friend. She'll exploit you. She'll exploit you um, as a man. You know. Like I said, you know, she'll go and, and, and go and, and take to go plates to the narcissist. But since that trick has been done and pulled so many times and a lot of these men ain't going for it. Guess guess who the, the Jezebel spirit is going to target? 
they're gonna target other women because they're gonna feel like okay there's a there's there's this there's this battle between men and women going on i'm just gonna battle i'm i'm about myself i'm about myself just like the narcissist was about himself i'm about myself so you're gonna see that narcissists are gonna exploit other narcissistic men jezebel spirit they're gonna go and target other women so you better be careful who you're dealing with. You better be careful who your friends are. Because these people, if they feel like they can't uh, exploit people through seduction. And a lot of times they'll even seduce you. You'll The Jezebel spirit, she'll even start trying to seduce you as a friend. I've had, I've been around a lot of Jezebel spirits where you get a couple drinks in their system. They know you're not dumb. So they're they're trying to dumb you down. And then they'll start saying weird shit. You like girls, you'll they'll start, oh, you never been with a girl before. It's just start saying weird stuff to you. And it's like um, there's this seduction in them that they've used with men and they'll do it with women. So that's another way you could tell the Jezebel spirit should try to seduce you. Even though, even though she might not go both ways, she might, might not, but she'll still try to seduce you where she starts to feel like in order to gain friends and people, she has to have this the same type of seduction that she has with men and it's weird it's weird it's weird as hell you know i've had women that's like competing with me and they're like dancing on me and i'm like girl get away from me like why are you dancing or they're dancing in front of you like trying to prove a point or they want you to be it the the jezebel spirit wants you to be jealous of her because she wants you to feel like if you've been played by a narcissist, she wants you to feel like I'm the type of girl that you've been played by. Like you were played because of someone like me. That's the energy they give off. Like I know they, they think you, you're dumb or something and you're watching them and you're like this. This broad is really crazy. You're just watching these women and it's like they think they know something that you don't know but you could see through their shit and, and you know a lot of times when you're young when you don't know what's going on it's different but when you've been through a lot you could see right through them and it's scary because you could t you could see their anger and they're trying to joke around they're trying to act like they're having a good time but you could see what's underneath them you can see the pain. You can see they're they're really angry about their own lives and they're trying to project that shit onto you. So a lot of these behaviors, the Jezebel spirit shows you, a lot of times the narcissist showed you these things, but you overlook them. These are not happy people. These are not peaceful people. And then they go around buying candles and sage and try to act like they're spiritual. You walk into their, ho their house, they got the sage going like, they're trying to drive demons away from you, but it's them the ones with the demons. It's crazy. So um, I'm sending you guys lots of love, light, peace, and your healing. I hope you guys enjoyed this topic and learned from it. Um, if you guys um, want to support my channel by booking a session, my booking information is on the description. You can also show love by liking the video, subscribing if you guys have not subscribed, and I will talk to you guys on the next one. Love you guys. Bye.